Well, she never saw it coming. 16-year-old Lily Slayton was walking down the street Saturday when she was hit by a car. A memorial now sits in the spot where she died. Happened near the intersection of 2nd and Market Street as Lily was walking to the local market. KXY 4's Kitty Curry spoke with those closest to her about the legacy of her short life. Northwest Bible Church here in Mead wasn't just a church to Lily, it was her home. So now, just days after her sudden and tragic death, the church community is coming together to mourn the loss of someone they call a beautiful, bright spirit. It's a weekly routine, pack up the truck and deliver food to families in need. But today, the Northwest Bible Church was a little short-handed. Instead of helping, the family of 16-year-old Lily Slayton is grieving. Lily had ambitions. She wanted to be somebody. Friends say Saturday afternoon, Lily set out to the local market. She wasn't more than two blocks away from church when a 79-year-old man crossed the center lane on market, striking Lily on the other side of the street. Death is so unexpected. I've pastored churches for 50 years and have gone through it enough times that you'd think I'd get used to uh, helping families with the loss of loved ones, but it's something you never get used to. As the senior pastor of the church, Jack Wood grew to know Lily very well. He says her loss weighs heavy on everyone. Lily was a caretaker at heart. Uh, and wherever she sees somebody hurting or somebody incapable of taking care of themselves, she's right in there pitching in all the time. She has this benevolent spirit about her like her mother. This church is where Lily spent most of her time. It's where her family spent Saturday night grieving her loss. And it's where Lily's memory will live on long beyond her 16 years. Lily had a family here that loved her also. And so she was part of the teenagers and um, we're going to miss her mm -hmm. greatly. There's been a fund set up in Lily's honor to help with the cost of funeral expenses. We've attached that link on our website at kxly.com. Reporting in Mead, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.